Good morning all. Today we are going to see about shape memory alloys. Shape memory alloys. Shape. It is nothing but the structure. What is memory? Yes, recollecting the past. Alloys. Alloy is nothing but it is a mixture of two or more elements. The definition of shape memory alloys are the alloy which changes its shapes from original shape to new shape while heating or cooling. Again, the material will come back to an original shape. So, that is called shape memory alloy. So, this is what an schematic diagram of an shape memory alloy. This is what an original shape. When the material is heat, subject to heating, the shape of the material will be changes. When again it has been cooled down, the material will come back to its original shape. So, this is called shape memory. This is a schematic diagram for an shape memory alloy. We are going to see that transformation temperature. What is transformation? It is nothing but the temperature at which shape memory changes from new shape to its original shape. That is called transformation temperature. This is what the structure of an SMA. SMA is nothing but shape memory alloys. It has been classified into two types. It will be martensite and austenite. In that martensite has been classified into two types. That will be twin martensite and deformed martensite so this is what the this is what the difference between martensite and austenite so martensite is very soft in nature austenite is hard in nature martensite it can be deformed easily it does not deform easily it will be existing only at low temperature it will be exist at high temperature it is the structure martensite belongs to structure of monoclinic austenite belongs to structure of cubic so this is what is structure diagram for an sma material that is martensite and astenite so this is what the processing of an shape memory alloy here we are going to see we are applying we are going to apply heat as well as cooling so this is what a deformed martensite when it is heating it has been come to a astenite state when when it is subjected to cooling again it will be coming back to twinned material so this is what the processing of sma so in which the material will be coming back to its original shape or size after heating and cooling so this is what the macroscopic view of an shape memory alloy in which it has been deformed so this is what the there are different types of characteristics for sma the first one will be pseudo elasticity elasticity is nothing but the material which regain its original shape or size so at a certain point a at point a the material will have its elastic property then again it will be coming back to its original shape or size so what is hysteresis yes it is the property which gives the magnetic properties of the material so the types the SMA can be types in, classified into two types. One it will be one way and another it will be two A. Two way SMA. So properties, what are the we are going to see the different properties of SMA? It will be it has high shape strain, density is high, it's more flexible, it's a high melting point, it's thermal stability, it has high corrosion resistance. So, what are the application of SMA? So, this is what the application of SMA in which we are going, we are using a um, normal glasses that is fiber glasses. So, the fiber glasses are made up of an um, shape memory alloys, the toys, the children are using a toys which is used in day to day life. They are made up of shape memory alloys which can be regained its original shape or size. In helicopter blades, the plates which is used for toys, the toys is made up of SMA material and it is used in a blood clot to remove the blood clots in a human body. You may we may see the stents, right? Where, where a person is affected by a blockage in his heart, a stent has been sent into a heart and the blockage has been getting removed. So the stent is made up of this shape memory alloys. And the, the materials in coffee makers, we are using a teeth, right? The teeth, they are using a strip. That material is also made up of shape memory alloys. What are the advantage? 
so it has a wide advantage it is very compact in nature it is safe and smart they are more flexible they are non corrosive the major advantage will be very com it is non toxic material it is very safe and smart and it is non corrosive the material cannot be rusted so this was a major advantage of it the disadvantage will be cost is very high the transformation which will be occurred very high temperature and the efficiency is low when compared to other material thank you